Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. You can now use the promo code LVD at checkout. Pack one, pick one. Pretty straightforward Myriad Constructs. Goes into any deck, so it's kind of the perfect first pick. What else is there? Mystic and Root Grazer, both awesome multicolor cards for their respective decks. And then some decent commons as well. But uh, yeah, we'll just take the Construct. Second pick. Umara Wizard, just powerful because it has the flexibility of also being a land. Into the Royal, also a great blue card, probably the best common next to a Royal Eruption. There's some like party cards with the Blood Priests. I think I might be taking the Wizard here over into the Royal. I don't love the fact that we're passing into the Royal and Royal Mage. So you could also make a case for just taking like a Blood Priest here. But Construct isn't super synergistic in the party decks, so we might want to deviate from that. This is interesting. Pretty early, so we could try and take a Relic Golem, end up in kind of the mill archetype. Hope to wheel Wind Robber. Could take a Royal Mage. And just pick up some instants and sorceries. I could speculate on a Relic Golem. It's only going to be great if we end up with more mill cards. Nah, never mind, I'll take a Royal Mage. And now we've got the same decision into the Royal and Wizard. Last time we took Wizard. I could see a case for into the Royal now, since we picked up Royal Mage, which synergizes quite nicely with it. And of course it also enables the Wizard. Spark Mage, also a nice one. Although if we end up blue-red, we're going to have mostly Wizards, so it's not going to be at its best. Past a couple bindings. I mean, bindings playable, but it's not an exciting removal spell. Yeah, I'll take the Into the Royal this time. Diviner's totally fine here. Had I taken the Relic Golem, maybe take the Mind Carver here, try and end up blue black mill. But yeah, don't see a reason to deviate from blue just yet. All right, there's no blue cards here. Seeing a bunch of whites. Did see some green cards in the previous pack too. Might of Morasa. Could maybe end up in a blue-green kicker deck. I do have a lot of kicker cards already. So I could see mites being okay. Or we could end up blue-red wizards. But I don't really like Fisher Wizard. Wildfire, I guess... A cantrip that can maybe fix our mana if we're trying to splash. But it's also not a high priority. I think I take Mites on the off chance we end up blue-green kicker. Another Royal Mage. So yeah, we'll see whether or not Umar Mystic wields. I don't count on it, but if it did, we could definitely take it and kind of solidify blue-red. Don't mind Sentinel if we're going to be the kicker deck. If we were the mill deck, then Glacial Grasp would be the pick. Alright, we wield a Royal Mage out of that pack. That's surprising. But I'm pretty happy with it. So now that we have triple Royal Mage, just want to take any cheap instants and sorceries we come across that are remotely playable. Sadly, there's none of those here. Uh, Scythe Cat could make the cut if we end up blue-green. Shell Shields, probably get another copy later. Definitely playable in the Kicker Synergy deck, but not exciting. So we did pass some good blue cards early, but we still got some pretty good ones late here with all the Royal Mages. Second Caller is still totally open, definitely not committed to green. And we even got the Wildfire last pick. All right. Well, this is an interesting pack. 
Morog is powerful, although it is kind of clunky and not incredibly synergistic in this deck. There's Mystic if we want to take a red card. And then there's just two good kicker cards. And Into the Royal has a bit more synergy with the Royal Mages. I think the pick is probably just Into the Royal. It's not a more exciting pick, but it's probably going to lead to the best overall deck. Alright, do like me a Falconer. I've got a ton of kicker cards already. Ambush would have also been great, but we're not 100% to be green. So I would rather just take the card we're guaranteed to play. Well, got rewarded with a late Verazol. Can hope to wheel a Riptide as well. So our deck's shaping up nicely. Plenty of kicker cards, including some rares. Yeah, Roost of Drakes is probably the card we want to open the most at this point. Probably more than any mythic or rare. Take a Billoth. I guess Relic Amulet could also be good since we have a lot of wizards. Yeah, actually, this one's close. Relic Amulet, typically a card you associate with blue reds, but. In blue-green it can be okay if you end up with enough wizards, which I think currently we've got six wizards and three instants already. Probably going to be better than Baloth here. And then we'll take a Riptide. Chilling Trap also consideration, but Riptide's a bit too good to pass up when we have double into the Royal already. Yeah, nothing I really want here. Squid's kind of a filler 2-drop. Could take a Shell Shield. Maybe I'll play one. Alright, probably taking the Research. Fortification would have also been quite nice, but when we're the Kicker Synergy deck, I'll take the Research. Baloth also is still in the pack, so green seems open, but... We've been prioritizing taking the blue cards so far. Nothing here. Take a Might. Might's pretty decent if we draft enough uh, two drops, and sometimes playing a Royal Mage on turn two is fine, and it also gives us something to pick up with a Royal Mage later. Take a look at our curve here. I mean, I doubt Brute makes a final cut. Pack Beast is technically a wizard, but it doesn't do much else for us. So, yeah, our deck looks pretty decent. Probably not going to play the third. Might. Alright, no Roost of Drakes, but we did get Geyser Mage, which looks quite good here. Whew. Yeah, gonna have to pass up on Zareth. If I had Pack Beast, could maybe be convinced to kinda take Zareth, hope to get some green mana fixing to splash black. But yeah, without any rogues, it's kind of difficult to fully leverage Zareth anyway. And Recovery is definitely an A-plus card here. So pretty happy with that too. I guess I'll keep taking Royal Mages. Cascades here could also be fine. Don't have many 4-drops, although once we factor in our Into the Royal as a 4-mana card, we're actually doing fine. Reclaim the Waste would also be fine here. Ooh. There's some goodies. Didn't think we have a ton of synergy with Horn Beetle outside of Verazol. I didn't pick up any Gnarlet colonies. I guess Sentinel, Scythe Cat, 
do have a bit of synergy with it. But I'm mainly looking at Vastwood Surge as a kicker card that can help us ramp. So it's great in combination with uh, Royal Mages, since we can first ramp into the Royal Mage and then play it kicked to pick it back up and then play it kicked later. Construct, I guess, would also be potentially nice with the uh, Horn Beetle, but I don't know. I think I still prefer the Vastwood Surge. We're just getting all the Royal Mages here and not complaining. And field research over plunder. I don't have a ton of creature types outside of wizard. So plunder's not gonna be amazing. Could also take a chilling trap actually. With five royal mages. You know what? This might be one of those weird scenarios where I prefer the chilling trap. And then, don't think I'm playing anything here. Maybe the Facilion Division. Ooh, gotta be the ambush here. I mean, Bubble Snare is great too. But the fact that this is both a land and we can pick it up with Royal Mage makes it quite strong. Yeah. And then, nothing here. Yeah, we don't actually have a ton of payoffs for casting kicker cards, only got to one Riptide. But of course kicker cards are just good by themselves. Don't think we'll need Stomper. Maybe we'll play Deliberate as a cheap cantrip I can pick up with a Royal Mage again. Alright. <laughs> wow, six Royal Mages. Well, the Relic Amulet definitely looks good. Probably don't need Brutes. Not sure about the Shell Shield. Maybe cutting a Mites. Wow, last pick feels research. Well, blue was open this draft, that much was clear. And we even picked up some nice dual-faced cards with Umara Wizard, Recovery and Ambush. So I can probably cut one land. Even though we do want to hit our land drops with all these kicker cards. And then... Yeah, what to cut here? Probably the Shell Shield. Maybe six Royal Mages is one too many. Do I still want Sentinel? Because again, I don't have that many kicker payoffs. So I don't really want to play kicker cards that aren't amazing by themselves. So I think I can get rid of Sentinel. I guess I'm a bit light on flying creatures, so that could be a weakness. But I do have Diviner, Falconer. So it should still be okay. And then two more cuts. Maybe Deliberate. Because I'll probably still have enough instants and sorceries to pick up with Royal Mage. Yeah, we've got plenty. Gotta Deliberate. I could play Silundi Vision. Yeah, it's probably fine. It's a tap land, so it does have some downsides, but in a late game. It's gonna be pretty nice. Yeah, maybe one Royal Mage can go. Six is a bit much. Alright, and then I've got nine islands plus two dual face cards. Vision probably gonna be a land more often than not. But uh, all these other ones are totally fine to just cast. Alright. Alrighty. Fine hands, got a combo of Surge plus Royal Mage again. We'll see if we can hang on to Ambush this time. Although we have to be careful because Construct I don't think works with Ambush. Yeah, so we have to be very careful with that interaction.
Alright, we'll run out of Royal Mage. And then if I don't run other land, I might play Ambush Tap next turn. Opponent on black green. Could play a Verizal just as a 2 2 here. Because I'm gonna have a lot of expensive spells to sink my mana into. Could play a 3 3 Verizal, but I really want to play Surge on 4. And I can still, like, not use Verizal until I eventually play a Kicked Surge after getting it back with Royal Mage. But at least. I'm using my mana efficiently here. I guess we'll wait a turn on Surge. Get to construct in play first. Colossus is pretty scary. There's not much I can do about it right now, but maybe next turn I can bounce it. So, second Gloom Hunter. Yeah, those two Gloom Hunters with Marauding Blind Priest are kind of scary. Can go for a kick to Royal Mage. Get my Surge back, although that is kind of slow. Can just draw a ton of cards with a Field Research, copy it with Varazol. Geyser Mage, I mean, what would I even be bouncing here? Yeah, let's draw some cards. All right. And there's my Falconer to block the Flyers. And... Just play Amulet for now. I might take a beating if they can kill my Construct, but I guess then I get a bunch of tokens, so that's fine. And I'll probably just double block here. And now Amulet can start pinging down the Gloom Hunters. So, step one. We want to put one counter on the Amulets and use it. Falconer is a wizard, so that also counts. So let's see, can I go Falconer, use Amulet, and I have two mana left. So I could play a Royal Mage Unkicked. Could go for Kicked Geyser Mage, bounce, let's say, the Skitter Sneak, and then Amulet the Gloom Hunter. It's also kind of nice. Might be better than Falconer in case my point has removal, but if they had removal, I guess again the Construct would have given me those tokens. So they might not have wanted to use it. I've got five cards in Graveyard. I don't know, it feels like Falconer is going to be able to stick around here. And then... Could use Amulet now to play around a Pump Spell, like Might of Marasa. Could wait. I'll do it now. Alright, Oblivion's Hunger to give it indestructible, fair enough. Alright, I probably just play the Royal Mage here to play it safe. 
And then Amulet's got a counter for next turn. So Blood Price to draw a bunch of cards. And our opponent passes. Alright. So we should be able to take over here with all our card advantage. Recovery can also get something back, like Verazol or Vastwood Surge. So we've got a ton of options. Probably start with Geyser Mage, Bouncing the Sneak. And then probably don't want Scythe Cat anymore, Diviner's fine. Bound Sneak, and then I can kill Blind Priest so those Gloom Hunters are a bit less scary. And we'll pass. Ooh, Scute Swarm. Alright, so we gotta deal with those Scute Swarms. Selundi Vision has a good chance of finding an Into the Royal, which could bounce a token and an Amulet could deal with the other one. That's not a bad way to do it. There's Into the Royal. Seems good. And the Scry 2 from Falcon are also being incredibly useful. And we'll hang on to the Royal Mage, I think. Blightblade lines up pretty poorly against Amulet, unless they've got a Rabbit Bite as well. Alright, fair enough. Turns on the Sneak. I'll just double block here. I can kill the Blightblade, play Diviner. And maybe play a kicked Royal Mage. And what do we get back? Field research is tempting. How many cards do I have left? 13. I do have to close out the game eventually. Still have a couple of Royal Mages left in the deck. We scryed some lands to the bottom as well. well let's go with the research. Oh wow. Opponent found a line. Well, that's unfortunate. We're on the play with a keepable hand. No blue mana just yet, but there's no shortage of blue sources with nine islands and two dual face cards. And black white, typically cleric life gain. So I've got a couple options. Definitely fine with a trade. I guess Scythe Cat for now is okay.
leave Royal Mage back to block Sellsword. We've got Diviner to block Gloom Hunter now. And then wait for the Scythe Cat to get a bit larger. Research can help us hit our land drops, and then Royal Mage can eventually get it back. So we're in a decent spot. Opponent's also missing land drops. Do I want to send a Diviner is a question. I'm trading th two damage for one damage, essentially. Which isn't great, but... With my opponent being behind, I guess we can afford to. Alright. Blind Priest means we're trading 2 damage for 2 damage now, so... Definitely don't want to attack anymore. Let's go for a Kicked Royal Mage. I kinda regret not playing the Riptide now, but... Maybe I should still play the Riptide here. So my opponent does have a pretty full party here with a warrior, cleric, and this can be any creature type. So potential party synergies could start getting quite threatening. So if we can, we should definitely trade. So probably close to attacking with the scythe cat. Mind drain could have been worse. So they can trade for Scythe Cat if they want to double block. That's fine by me. Could have maybe also attacked with a 2-1 Royal Mage here. So that's two creature types for party gone. They might have a way to get those creatures back, but in the meantime we can apply quite a bit of pressure. Disciple. Sure. I want to leave green mana untapped. So any land lets me cast mites. And I think we can get aggressive now. Alright, it should be game unless they have the... Uh, trick here. Alright, sweet. Alrighty, turn to amulets. I don't think we've opened on the relic amulet yet, so that's exciting. Probably gonna hang on to Saloon Division for the time being. Of 
opponent's not doing much, so I don't feel pressured into playing a Royal Mage. Can just Saloon Division here. And I'll take a recovery. Point on deciding what they want to do. Subtle strike. All right, I'll take my four tokens. Seems like a good tempo play. Ooh, Verazol. Although Kicked Royal Mage is maybe even better here, puts a counter on the amulets. Get back my into the royal. What are they gonna pick up? Just a swamp. Yeah, I've got a few options here, although just taking three bouncing Hellion and killing a Lagax seems fine. Do I want to play differently? I guess Bouncing Hellion means I take another two. But it is pretty man efficient. Yeah. Chilling Trap could also be great. Probably just playing the recovery now. Sure, we'll just finish off the Lagak. They might pick up the uh, Spike Field Hazard or the Akum Warrior. And then... Now what? One mana short of kicked Royal Mage, get back into the Royal and cast it. Which would be my preferred play otherwise. Could play a research to try and find another bounce spell. Or we could play a big Verazol. Or a medium sized Verazol. Can still attack with all if I want to, and then just chilling trap and see what we get. I'll land. Mm, probably okay to play a big Verazol. I guess if I play a six powered Verazol, I die to the act of treason effects. So that's a reason to play it smaller, or just play Field Research instead. Yeah. I guess drawing some cards isn't bad, or I can... play Kicked Royal Mage and get my Chilling Trap back. It's probably the safest. It's a bit weaker to like a sweeper effect, but if they had one, we would have seen it already. So yeah, Chilling Trap doing a ton of work this draft. Opponent had a Nahiri's Lithoforming. Could have been scary with a Lagak. Mm, 
All right, so can we close out the game here? Amulet shoots down Gloom Hunter, attack with all. That's not a bad start. Uh, can I kill if I get an Into the Royal back? Don't quite have the mana to play Kick Royal Mage, cast Into the Royal, and use amulets. So let's shoot down. I guess Gloom Hunter is fine. Uh, they've got a rage to save it. Fair enough. And then I'm not dead to kick the Royal Eruption. I'm not dead to the Act of Treason. Sagros is pretty good. But still only 8 damage. And I can kind of choose my own adventure here on how I want to win the game. That's the most straightforward one. I guess attacking with everyone also would have done it. On the draw, fine hands. Another black red opponents. And another turn to shade. Yeah, that's a scary card. Skulker means I'm probably staying back with Royal Mage. Eh, some decent draws. Probably gonna go turn 4 Construct and then turn 5 I can Diviner and Chilling Trap. We had an opportunity to pick a Bubble Snare during the draft, but we went with the Instant and Sorcery synergies for Royal Mage instead. Don't really want to block Scorch Rider and trade when we have Chilling Trap. So I'll probably take four. Opponent did nothing with 4 mana. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Uh, so I can Chilling Trap now to get my card, but then they're not gonna attack. So I probably prefer killing Rider. I guess just play research, see what we get. Hmm. Do I want to attack? 
Nah, probably not. So here I can play Kicked Royal Mage, get back Chilling Trap. And I guess send in Royal Mage for two. Then land gives us access to a kicked fast with search, we would which would be great. Sizzling barrage. Hoo hoo. Land please. Ah. It's a tap land. Oh man, kicked surge with four tokens in play would have been epic. I mean, we're still in good shape here. So probably play wizard tapped and just make the same play of royal mage getting chilling trap. The fact that Chilling Trap is such a cheap instant we can get back with Royal Mage is awesome. And do I attack with all? Probably. Maybe leave one token back. I'm fine with the trade. We'll just use a chilling trap on the shade and then surge should be lethal. Sure. So they block one, still take four times three, plus another four. So it should be enough here. GG's. It's nice that we have five copies of Royal Mage, so I don't have to feel bad about playing it on turn two. Well, I guess I lose. This card's pretty much unbeatable.
I do have two bounce spells to kind of reset the counters. But it's still going to be tough. Maybe if I find a relic amulet after bouncing, I can kill it. Surge. Yeah, I guess I want to develop my mana. Could also play a second Royal Mage, but they're never going to attack a 4-4 Aspirant into my two Royal Mages. Must be nice. I'll take my into the royal now. No luck. So what's the best I can do? Kick the royal mage, get back surge. Or research. I'm already in chump block mode next turn, or I guess I can chilling trap. If I play wizard... They just don't have a reason to attack the Aspirant into it. Gonna have two aspirants now. Now if I take a screenshot, it looks like my opponents drafted double aspirant and all the skyclaves. So it seems I got much unluckier than I actually did. Your opponent has played more rares than commons. They haven't played any commons. <laughs> uh, yeah. This looks pretty bad. Verazol. I could deal 12 to my opponent here, but sadly not 18. I guess I can't even attack for 2, can I? Because then they attack with all and I'm dead. So I just have to play Verazol and pass pretty much. Maybe I'm better off playing Umara Wizard so I can maybe fly over. And then play Verazol. And then I can maybe afford to attack for two. Sure. Because I really only need Verazol to copy Might of Morassa to try and cheese out a win here. Although I guess I'm dead to removal now. Alright, never mind. Alright, well, we had a good run. Crack some packs. I'm gonna get those gems. And a wild card. 
Yeah, I'm gonna need all these wild cards for Kaladesh. But for now, wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.